So friends, the fifth and the penultimate secret to really enjoy our work and life is to inculcate and consciously practice to be balanced, to be balanced in and through the ups and downs of life. The management guru Krishna keeps reiterating this time and again in the Gita. And he says, Sukha Dukha Samakritva, Labha Labhao Jaya Jayao Samakritva. Learn to be balanced in and through success or failure, joy or sorrow, honor or dishonor. Why? Because these are the inevitables of life. The nature of the world is that it is made up of these pairs of opposites. No one can escape these dwandwas, these pairs of opposites. Let you be the richest man in the world, let you be the most powerful man in the world, or let you be a pauper. We all have to go through these pairs of opposites. So it is in our interest that we learn the art of being balanced. But easier said than done, right? It's very easy to say be balanced. The question is how? How do we be balanced? So let's throw the question back to Krishna and ask him, sir, how the heaven do we be balanced, right? And here he gives a beautiful and a practical answer. And you'll find this only in the deep recesses of the Gita. And the beautiful and the practical answer that he gives is, oh mankind, the secret to remain balanced in and through the ups and downs of life is that before you perform the action, before you undertake any action, make a resolve, mentally prepare yourself that you will not be affected by the results. Let it be success or failure. Let it be honor or dishonor. I shall accept it gracefully. My only concern is to perform my duty to the best of my capacity. Karma nyev adhika raste ma phaleshu kadachana. Why? Because the results are based on so many factors which are beyond my control. Right? And the only thing which is under my control is to perform my duty to the best and offer it unto the Lord. But that's not what we do, right? Even before performing the action and during the action, we have such a strong attachment towards the result of our action. We want a particular desired fruit. We are so terribly anxious about a desired result. And unfortunately, when we do not get it, we are devastated, right? We are dejected, we are agitated, we are sinking in sorrow, we lose our balance. But it's okay, it's natural, it happens. Nevertheless, we have to evolve. We have to evolve to a higher state because a human being alone can afford to remain balanced in and through these ups and downs. So the secret is to mentally prepare ourselves in advance itself. If we expect to be happy and balanced without this initial preparation, well, we are asking for a utopia. It's impossible. For instance, let's take the example of producing these videos itself. Now, before I shoot and upload these videos, I got to mentally prepare myself with respect to the results. I got to accept it gracefully. Some people will like this video, will praise this video, will pass good comments. Whereas some people will criticize it, will pass negative comments. Is that under my control? The only thing which is under my control is to perform my obligation to the best of my capacity. You see friends, sharing this sublime knowledge, this highest knowledge of Gita, of Vedanta is my passion. I like doing it. You see, for, for more than two decades, I had the great opportunity of studying, practicing this knowledge under the supervision of the greatest masters of the world. And now I feel obliged to pass it forward, to pay it forward by sharing this highest knowledge with the world. I like it, right? Though it's not easy work, I'm sure you would appreciate. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into producing these videos in terms of studying, preparing, and then shooting the videos, editing it, and eventually uploading it. But the point is, despite all the hard effort, 
I love doing it. I enjoy doing it and that's my reward. But if I don't consider the enjoyment, the experience, the growth that I am getting by virtue of producing these videos and if I make my happiness dependent on the result, the praises, the accolades, the, the appreciations from the viewers, well then who is to be blamed? Then I myself am to be blamed, right? I'm, I'm, I'm certainly going to lose my balance because praise or censure is not in my hands. As they say, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder, right? Similarly, those who pass negative, unconstructive criticism just for the sake of it, just highlights their mindset, right? I couldn't care less. So my focus just ought to be on giving my best shot, period. So that's the fifth secret, friends. Let us mentally prepare ourselves in advance itself. Accept the results gracefully. As long as you have done your duty to the best, you couldn't care less. Love your work itself, enjoy your work itself, and keep marching forward. Now coming to the last but not the least, the last secret mentioned by Lord Krishna in this verse to enjoy our work and life. And that entails a beautiful, beautiful touch of devotion. So what a beautiful way to end this series. You wouldn't want to miss that beautiful video coming up in the last video of this series. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can find the links of the remaining videos of this series in the description below. And of course, these are just six secrets. Hence, we would love to hear from you. What are your secrets? What are your ideas as to how one can really enjoy his work and life? Please leave your valuable inputs in the comments section below. Because remember, some of the best ideas, some of the best tips comes from you the corporate Gita community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comments section. Let us build a beautiful community of spiritual seekers to grow and evolve, to eventually attain the ultimate goal of life, the ultimate goal of human existence, which is self-realization, God-realization. So thank you once again, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can do so by clicking the button right here and now or you can click the link in the description below. By doing so, you make sure that you get immediate updates to the new videos just like these containing spectacular gems from the Bhagavad Gita for your success and harmony. And I shall be posting such videos every single week. And dear friends, if this video has helped you at all, we would really appreciate if you could like and share it. Share it with your family and friends so that they too could benefit from this sublime and highest knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita. And of course, it helps this channel too. And finally, if you have any questions on life, on spirituality, on the Bhagavad Gita, on Vedanta, on emotional wellness, please feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And if your question is an important and a profound one, which could help many more, I'll take out a video on that. Finally, for more valuable resources, please don't forget to visit our website, corporategeeta.com. Take care, folks. God bless you all. Love you all. Cheers.